Hello PBO people, we are back with the semifinals of the Sunset Division. It is the Nevada County Caterpies versus the Worcester Whoopers. I am here, the Analyst Alkazams, along with Kuma of the Tokyo Teddy Ursas. Hello, hello. Right. Go! And so the game starts. I see an Iron Hansington that could be a bit problematic if it has like the Thunder Punch and the Heavy Slam. Glamora lead. Looking mm -hmm. to get those hazards up, but Greninja is one of the best Glamora answers because it has that Shuriken. I hope Natty is a uh, Scarf Energy Ball. That definitely doesn't kill. Alright, there's the Sash. Dazzling Gleam, but he just gets rid of the typing. Tough start for Natty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not sure Dazzling Gleam was the play there. Perhaps they expected the Battle Bond. But if it was Battle Bond, I doubt it would be the lead. Yeah. So now this Glamora doesn't get the hazards off that it wants to get off. It's no smoking. Preserve Glamora. It is a sack, I suppose. Or one T-Spike if you get like a hit from a... Great tusk on you. Yeah, true. Oh, the Grim Snarl. Or not Grim Snarl, uh. Grafi Eye. is here to absorb that T spike. So this is an interesting position. Nevada does. Did yeah. you just call hard Volcano on? He may. I don't know what Volcanion's gonna do. I don't know what Volcanion's gonna do. a wild charge. Could do a lot. It's Grafiai. A future sight comes out though. This Grafiai is probably gonna go for a knockoff here. This is probably where you could sack Lamora, because then the T-Spike would go up, and something would have to come in on it. It'd have to be Flygon or something gets poisoned. And that's probably yeah. the best like value that Glamora has left in this game. Yeah, that's probably what Natty will end up doing. Just a parting. Okay. No knock. And Natty stays in. Just wants to go back really... to Greninja. Yeah, because I think this Greninja might be... Oh. Uh, Greninja gets paralyzed. I think this Greninja might be locked in. If I'm yeah, dead. it might be Specs. Specs lead is interesting. All right, the Slicking's just I staying in. I assume it's chilling now. Yeah, maybe this is a chili. He has nothing to take this future site though. Yeah, Sylveon will take like twenty-five or thirty, and that's what he decides to do. And it is chilly, so Treads gets to come out. May have to sit tight in if he wants to get super greedy. He just goes Glen. Yeah, I was thinking he goes Glen. 17, okay, bounced right off. Yeah, this is a very spit F. Quick attack is interesting. Ah, back. So the T-Spike does Surprised go up. He revealed that, but I guess he doesn't want to take damage on the Sylveon. He might not have wished then. Um... Hmm. Yeah, none of, none of his Pokemon have uh, native recovery. Welcomes treads, perhaps to click a knockoff. So he yeah, doesn't get mystical fire. That's a smart move, spin. but spin okay. just to get the speed boost, I guess. I mean, speed's Gren now. Yeah, so yeah. Gren was just a sack, so it's a glim for Gren, pretty much. Grafai yeah. comes out to get rid of the T spike. It's probably just gonna parting shot immediately. Probably out to Flygon. Yeah, so Flygon blocked the full switch. Yeah, I think this tread should probably go for knockoff here. I agree. Though he might, he might not have knockoff. To be dual stab bolt which rapid spin. It's 
Sylveon comes right back ah, out. Oh, it just earthquakes again. Caterpie seems a little wary on bringing out that Flygon. I don't know if Natty feels like he has to switch. Maybe they don't have the iron. Yeah. Maybe they don't have the steel move. Probably doesn't have iron head. <laughs> maybe he just feels safe in front of the Sylveon because the Sylveon doesn't get mystical fire or anything. Yeah, not anymore. Slow kick comes out. Shadow Ball, nice predict. It doesn't do enough though. I think this might be a Specs, Sylveon. Or I don't know Specs, but I think it's 4 attack. I think it's Hyper Voice, Quick Attack, Shadow Ball. Something else. Yeah. Maybe Baton Pass. But this is a Chili from the Slow King now. Yeah. And we'll see if Sir Titan can come out. Start doing some things. Go to Titan if you like really just want to progress the game really fast. I think so. Titan can get like one or two kills and kind of open the game up for hands. Yeah, he does go to Titan. Yeah. Doesn't wait. Right. Even if he goes, even if he goes Grafia, what does Grafia do? Wrong yeah, encores. Yeah. So, so it probably should be a hard swap to Grafia here. I'm guessing it's going to be a hard Grafia. It's very risky though, because if he Ice Skull crashes, it, it, this is a pretty big play for this game. Natty yeah. could, because Natty doesn't need to, uh, like you could very easily Chili again later game. I mean, okay, just he just EQs. Like so that was a good play from, um... Yeah, I, I agree with that play. Alright, now same. he goes for Ice Skull Crash in case Flygon comes out. Yeah. Ice Spinner, whatever, Ice Smoothie, yeah, thousands. So this Titan probably isn't going to be able to, uh, yeah, there's the Ice Spinner. spinner yep. This Titan probably isn't going to be able to um, sweep belly this drum. game. It's not going to be able yeah. to belly drum, but it still can do stuff. It's, it's definitely just going to... It's a, holes, it's so. got you know it's got coverage to actually hit everything super effective that's left so like the like now sloking and just spam future sight and everything is taking like 50 yeah it's looking looks Maybe pretty Volcanion well right. takes like 30 and amaris also goes in once this grafia it's dead I wonder if he doesn't have Encore on Grafia, or he just thought it was too risky. Yeah, I mean, if he did if he did go thing, he would have lost it, so it was a smart play on Caterpie's part. <laughs> he might go Grafia and just click a uh, parting shot into Flygon. Yeah. I feel like if you're Natty, you just click Ice Spinner. I don't know. Like, yeah, I think Volcanion stall all the snow somehow. If Volcanion comes out, I would just uh, yeah, he is gonna click parting shot. If I'm Natty, I just click Ice Spinner. Actually, no, I guess you don't have to overcomplicate it. You just click Earthquake. Well, Flygon can Terra after, so I'm guessing he's gonna go Flygon and then Terra to live the Ice Spinner even better. What's the fly on Terra? Oh, it's Volcanion. Oh, the belly drum comes out. Late game. Oh. Uh oh. Okay. The snow is about and to. And it run doesn't out. even it doesn't even matter. The um what's it called? Does it matter at all? Because uh oh, you can max the attack. The the Oh uh, yeah, the parting shot, yeah. The parting shot just... doesn't matter at all. It just oh, always no, maxes you. you. Yeah. It just I wonder what the if, if the I'm assuming the fourth move is ice shard, so this is going to be an earthquake. Yeah. I have to guess. You have to. I think you have to go flag on now. Yeah, if you want a chance to win, you have to go flag on. Earthquake, Volcanion's dead. I think this game might be over now. Um, uh, yeah. I think I the, think, I think that, the just ice shard three times. Well, Flygon's going to Terra and live, but. 
yeah. it's the the damage is too great in my opinion at this point because I mean, it'll, be it'll be terrifier because the Grafai doesn't have enough uh any damaging moves so you're relying on Flygon and great tusk and enam is gonna eat those two alive yeah i mean it could it could be terrifier Flygon. yeah If it's booster speed tusk with like heavy slam, it could win. Unless this is unless he's terra ground for some reason. Yeah, I mean the fact he's not going the flygon makes me very worried that he uh, doesn't have an answer to this so Titan. So Titan's so fucking crazy, man. It's so good. I hate this combo. It's fucking slow king so Titan bullshit. It's so annoying. <laughs> now he just has a crazy nasty team. The Tusk comes out. Alright, it's going to be an Ice Shard. I don't think Tusk is going to live, even though its uh, defense is pretty high. The fact Natty hasn't clicked it yet, though, makes me think he doesn't have it. Mm. Yeah. Or maybe Nevada's taking his time. There's the Ice Shard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's over. Because now hands can also do stuff. And it's just a Satitan Masterclass, once again. Very ballsy uh, Belly Drum on that turn where they clicked Belly Drum. Yeah, very, very ballsy. But it's looking like it won them the game. Worcester on a fast track to Stargazer. Yep. Yeah. Going back to Stargazer, proving why they're their champion. And, uh... They're gonna face Mug in the finals, it's looking like. That's what it's looking like here. Calling it a little early, I guess. <laughs> I mean, I just can't I mean, see. I can't see I, it Yeah, I don't think... I don't think Caterpies has a single after Because, back yeah, th game. this Flygon has to take the Ice Shard. Even if it Terra Fires, I have to imagine it does, like, 45 to 50. But and I think... Then, Caterpies goes to, yeah. He oh goes yeah, to so he lives, but regardless. it's not enough. And then Enam comes out, <laughs> barely lives. Jesus. Or you could go Treads because you know Treads outspeeds. Yeah, Enam. That's because this game could be Scarf, right? So you go Enam. If you have the Psychic, you click it. But Moonblast is perfectly fine too. Grafai doesn't have any offensive moves. I'm guessing, or like one. It probably has one offensive move. So yeah, just Moonblast. Flygon dies. It's all on Grafai. I. Treads can come out. Hands too. Really odd plays around the um. Oh, weakness oh, policy. That's interesting. Weakness policy is interesting. Weakness policy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming this. I'm assuming this Grafai doesn't have another. I'm scared of. Gunk. Gunk, yeah, I guess. Us, us, SD unburdened, bro. I mean, that's fair. Mm. I feel. I mean, it's been it, it's it's very unlikely because it's shown parting shot, right? So yeah. it's it, this is a defensive Grafia like they usually are. Uh, Caterpie's played pretty bad around the Titan, I will say. Like uh, they sacked Volcanion and Great Tusk when obviously it proved Flygon did live after Terra, so it only had to be yeah. like Sylveon plus Flygon. And you would have had yeah. three other guys, and it probably would have been closer, a lot closer. Sunny day. Sunny day to get rid of the uh, snow for Satitan. I don't know if that's great, but I mean... <laughs> Alright, so Satitan uh, absolutely clutches the game. And I think the top two seeds made it to the finals in this division. If I uh, was no. Worcester third, yeah, Worcester's third. Yeah, Worcester felt like a top two team the whole season, though. All right, and with I that... mean, like, yeah, what can you really do about versus Worcester's draft? <laughs> Natty says this game didn't matter that much. <laughs> Winning the championship. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> What about winning the chip? Alright, I'm gonna end the recording. Peace, guys. Okay.